One of the biggest and most drawn out events of the Thai culture and food festival was the beauty pageant where contestants would be judged on elegance, fashion and personality. I'm so glad to be here and be a part of this wonderful festival and so proud to represent my beautiful country, Thailand, the land of smile. Now there was a really good amount of competition that day, although on the day I had an overwhelming favourite who I wanted to win. Thank you! Okay, and I have spent my last two weeks to make them. Because if this came out with a really low budget, I spent only $16 for now. Okay? And the winner of 2013 Miss Songkan is is number three. Meanwhile, I was having a chat with Crew Chari. Okay, normally you're uh, teaching us uh, Thai language on Thai ties, but today at the uh, Thai Food and Cultural Festival, you must be having so much fun with all the Thai community coming together. What are your thoughts on today? Oh, it's really great. Thai. Even the weather is so bad, but it's amazing that you can see so many people still coming. I'm so happy that Thai, um, you know, a lot of people are interested in your Thai culture, Thai food, and Thai language. Ka. Now, how much interest have you received uh, as a result of the TV show and just in general today at your little uh, language booth? Amazingly, uh, there are a few people come and ask me about the show, and I, I thought they mean about today's show. They said, no, 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 I mean about the Channel 31. I said, wow, that's quite interesting, you know. So there are quite few people who are actually in, you know, watching the show and actually come and join our school. Now, additionally, uh, with the show, you've uh, really been just exposed uh, a lot, and uh, you've actually, I hear, uh, might have mentioned this before, you uh, have uh, received a few more students wanting to enrol. Uh, how much does it mean to you to have uh, half Thai Australians wanting to learn Pasar Thai? Um, it's really great because uh, it means that a lot of people are interested in it, and then a lot of people who are like a mix like you are still want to keep that, you know. And I mean, like we in, we in Australia, we respect Australian culture and everything, but it's also to have in the car mix, and you don't forget where you're coming from. Do you feel like you're at home right now? <laughs> I actually feel like that too because I think I've been speaking Thai the whole day <laughs> and got Thai food, got a lot of Thai products and uh, you can see the monk ceremony, you know, the yeah. Buddhism is quite yeah. great. Yeah. Um, and I just want to thank you so much for teaching us Thai language throughout the series. Uh, did you have fun? Yeah, I do and um, I really enjoy and thanks for the opportunity for that give it to us that to present our school and you know our school we're not only just teaching language we like a family rather than the, the school you know and that's why our students keep coming to study because we do the activities and a lot of things together like we just have fun and enjoy it so you know if you're worried about coming learning Thai come to our school and have, it's not just about learning but you learn by you actually understand and you know know Thai people yeah. and remember as you always say Thai language is so easy just say that one more time <laughs> Thai language is very very easy you see that how easy it is with Thai language Thai language is very very easy you see how easy of Thai language it is and I will prove you how Thai language is so easy how Thai language is so easy why is so easy so you see how simple of Thai language is so you see how simple is that in Thai very easy. You see how it's easy is that? You see Thai number is very easy. <laughs> Thai language is so easy. Okay, so as easy as Thai language is, Muay Thai certainly isn't. And even this display with padding seems super intense. I'm somewhat thankful I never got in the ring whilst in Thailand. But the big show towards the end of the day was indeed the epic sword fight to the death.
Well, also coming to a close was the festival itself. So I got the opinion of some important VIPs to summarise the day. Uh, I believe so. I feel that we have done very well um, considering the weather not so kind to us. But I think we've done well. We have very big audience as usual. And yeah, that looks like everyone enjoy. Well, there has been a lot of work behind the scene uh, in the day. A little bit more to clean up at the end of the day. But after this, I will enjoy myself as well. Now joined by the Royal Consular General, Dr. Simon Wallace. Uh, after a chaotic day, Dr. Simon Wallace, how are you feeling? Personally, I'm exhausted but delighted. We, as always, were up to the vagaries of the weather. It started to rain first thing before the Buddhist ceremony. That set us back. We've been playing catch up all day, but we've caught up brilliantly. Still lots of people turned out to see us today. This is a festival for the Thai community and for the people of Victoria and Melbourne. So they came out today and they all had a wonderful time. Well, that brings uh, to a close another uh, Thai Food and Cultural Festival for 2013 and, in fact, my TV show here on Channel 31. Well, we couldn't have done either without people like yourself, Dr. Simon Wallace. So it's, Daniel, it's been a pleasure. We, the Thai community, is delighted that you have taken the initiative to promote the community through Channel 31. And may we wish you every success and we look forward to your next series. Okay, well thank you so much and Kof Gun Kap. Well that's it. Thank you for watching Thai Ties for the past 13 episodes. I've been honoured being welcomed into your lounge rooms over the past few months and would love to return in a bigger and better platform. The Thai community in Melbourne is so tight knit and I had no idea until the festival how many people I reached with this program. It's gone beyond my personal quest and it's turned into a cultural journey for all. I'm sure you'll see me around sometime. Until then, I'm Daniel Ratanapinta and thank you for coming into my Thai heritage. Sawadikab! Mahintara